Warren County traffic, 0717 off the pop, departing runway 1 will be departing to the southeast, Warren County traffic. You are my eyes in the sky as well. Okay. So if you see anything, if you see an airplane, feel point it out. We'll do. Six hundred. Okay, so we have about five hundred more feet to go. We'll be at three thousand feet. The ground was at at about nine hundred feet. Warren County traffic. Sky is two eight Fox Trot November. When you were flying longer distances, I normally fly between West. eight and ten. Got it. We're just gonna stay low. Perfect. Because of the uh, downtown. How do you tell? how high we are on your gauge here. 28, 3,000. About 3,000 and you're gonna, it's gonna level out. You're gonna see the nose go over and we're doing 120 knots. As soon as we nose over to stop climbing, it'll pick up and it'll go to about 140, 145. What you're more concerned about is the one that says GS, that's your ground speed. Got it. And then take that 129 times 1.5. Uh, the ground speed. The ground speed times 1.15. Going under these clouds, you get a little bit of a bounce. Yeah. The clouds is what causes that. Gotcha. If you were to climb above them, it wouldn't be bad at all. You see Kings Island over there? The parking lot? You see the uh, oh, tower? I do see it. Oh my goodness. How oh, your wife does not want to fly with you is on me. <laughs> right? <laughs> How could you not want to do this? Cincinnati approach, Sierra 717 Alpha Papa, VFR request. 717 Alpha Papa, uh, unable right now. All right, well, we will, uh, he's not, he might not let us in right now. We'll fly down to the river in Alaska when we get down there. Okay. And uh, <coughs> if we fly around and he says, he says okay when we get down there, I'll ask him again. Might be able to, if I should be clear, you might be able to see Cincinnati out in the distance. Because the river's actually, look back at your like four o'clock, okay. your four or five o'clock. See the out, way out in the distance? Oh, yeah, right out there. That's downtown. Is it really? We're past it already. Oh my God, that took seconds. Thank you for the ride. This yeah. is unbelievable. I'm going to call him and ask if I can get clearance in again. Cincinnati approach, Sierra 717 Alpha Papa, nine miles south of. Uh, Southeast of India 69, request VFR. Flight plowing, clearance into the Bravo to fly over downtown, 7 Alpha Papa. Number 7 Alpha Papa, I'm not going to be able to get you over downtown today. Okay, all right, thanks anyway. Have a great day, 7 Alpha Papa. You too. All right, so we're not going to be able to do that. That's so, okay. Let's just fly the river for a minute then, because that's the river. You see it? Yeah. So I'm turning my heading bug, yep. the heading, to match the direction of the arrow, which is the navigation. Yep. I told it to go back to Warren County Airport. I typed in the airport code. Ah, uh, got it. It'll okay. tell us it's 42 miles away. So because I'm in heading mode, now I'm going to go back to navigation mode. That means it's going to follow the white is the direction we're headed. It's yep. going to line up with the purple, and that'll fly us back. Understand. Okay. Now what I'm going to do is I'm going to tell it to come down to a certain altitude two miles before the airport. I want to be at the pattern altitude, which is 1,000 feet above the ground. Okay. 1,900 feet. So
So now it's telling me in 13 minutes we're going to start our descent. And if it don't start around 5, 10, we have to fill in sight. When you fly, you Traffic always fly it on autopilot. Fix, uh, one more I prefer it, yeah. Traffic opposite Traffic opposite but if you did, uh, you would be controlling it with this. One yeah, just with my hand. Three lever. Thousand. Okay. I, Thanks, sir. That way I can be aware of what's going on around me. Right. I can look outside. I can look down here. Where, where am I expecting any traffic on a nice day like this? You get a lot of people outside. Right. You get a lot of people flying. Now, remind me, you, before, 10 minutes ago, there was a, um, someone saying, hey, there's an aircraft a mile away. Who was that? And, it's showing me there's a two-mile ring and a six-mile ring. Got it. Okay. It'll show you right here. There are these little black and white dots, and you'll see a plus five or minus five. Okay. It's also showing them right here. Got so it. that's an aircraft that we're going to have to keep an eye out for. He's 500 feet above us, and the arrow pointing down means he's descending. Understand. So as we get closer, I'm going to look out this way, because just like I'm seeing here, we're going to look out that way and find out where he's at. Understand. We okay. don't have an air traffic controller calling out um, traffic for us. Right. If we were on a flight plan where you're in clouds, you have to do that. That's why you have to be instrument rated right. and on an instrument flight plan where air traffic control is telling you how high to go and what direction to go and when to turn. Uh, well, as you pull that up, every time I turn around, there's something new you're pointing out. Yeah. And you're like, oh yeah, that makes sense. When I say it's kind of the Tesla of the skies, most planes don't have radios as serious XM. Air can, you know. <laughs> so, I mean, you just, you get to the altitude you want to go to. You yeah. know how quick we got to 3,000 feet. Yeah. If I were climbing to 8,000 feet, just climb it, reduce the end or throttle back, lean it down, and you're flying on that until you get there. And just turn on the music and roll. It's either that or these are Bluetooth headsets, so you can pair your phone to the headset and then listen to whatever you want to. Yeah, air, air can if you want it heat all those most of the other planes you see don't have it so it's a nice cross-country airplane <laughs> this is phenomenal yeah, i mean it makes it this is a great plane for anything between like a maybe a two-hour drive at a minimum yeah to about a 15-hour 16-hour drive so if you if we played at grand park you could essentially fly to grand park where's that at uh indianapolis yeah, it takes about uh, 35 minutes to get over to Eagle Creek. <laughs> and it's usually a two-hour drive. Yeah. Uh, I mean, the amount of time we're in the plane right now yeah. is about the amount of time it would take us if we were straight lining to Indy. Yeah, for sure. So I know we're doing 200 miles an hour, but up here it doesn't feel like you're doing 200. The best way I can describe flying is when people get on a motorcycle yeah. and you're alone with yourself. This is my happy place. I'm in control, I'm free, there's yeah. nobody around. Nobody. Um, you were asking a little bit ago, that traffic? Yeah. As a, the minus 12, add two zeros to it, so they're 1,200 feet below us. Got it, okay. If it was above us, it'd be plus two, plus 1,200. Under, okay. So that way I know when I get up here at my 11 o'clock, I'm looking below me for a plane. Now this piece of equipment, this is independent. This is what's called a sentry unit and it's, it collects a signal and it sends it to my iPad. So in the event that I lost all electric in this plane, I still have my backup and it will also tell me time, distance, heading, where I'm at, how, what, how at altitude I'm at and what speed I'm at. So even though it's not connected to the plane to tell me, I'm getting it fed as a redundancy. That's why I carry a third one with me. So I was just gonna, it's almost theoretically a third one. You've got one, two, yep. three on your, on your, uh, Correct. On your leg. Are you able to tell what highway that is from up here? Yeah, Route 32, Batavia. Oh, that's Route 32. I know exactly where we are. So 32 up that way yep. is Batavia. Yep. Brian, when you land the plane, that's when you go back off the autopilot. I will. And control everything with your feet and the throttle. Correct. And this device here, which is your ground speed. So, um, yeah, so the throttle will control your up and down. Which it is this. pull this back okay. and it will let you start descending because it doesn't have as much speed over the nose. Your pitch will control my airspeed. That's yeah, your pitch, okay. When we're coming into land, I'll be, I'm not gonna explain the whole pattern, but we kind of come in opposite direction of what we're gonna land. We're gonna fly over the runway. I'm gonna take a left. That's called downwind, it's opposite the direction. Then you're gonna hear me call base. That means I'm perpendicular and then I call final, which is I'm lined up with the runway. Got it. When I line up with the runway, 
I'm going to come down from about 90 knots down to about 80 to 85, and as we cross over the runway threshold to land, I'll start bringing it back to about 78, and we should touch down somewhere around 62. Got it. Okay. And the time that we'll start descending was on the far right here. Although that may change if you're going to change directions. Yeah, I am going to switch directions. I'm going to go to Mason. So where do you live in Mason? You know where Lifetime Fitness is? Yeah. So I live literally right behind Lifetime Fitness. All right, well, that's where we're going over, so get ready. <laughs> you got it. It's right here. That's Mason Montgomery. Okay. So there's a Kroger right off Mason Montgomery Road. Behind it is Lifetime Fitness. Directly behind that is Wilkins Boulevard. I believe it is, anyway. And then uh, my house with a pool in the backyard, you can see it. So maybe that is set 71 that you're following. Uh, That's because there's Kings Island. Yep. So if you're following this down, Mason Montgomery is that road right that way. Yep. That's Proctor and Gamble right there? Yes, it is. So 71 is here. So that's Mason Montgomery, this road right here. Yeah. And Lifetime is right up in there somewhere. It's the new construction for the 50 West Brewery, the dirt. Oh, yeah. Okay, so I'm, I'm probably... I mean, I'm following 71 right now. Yeah. Oh, actually, my house is up there. I I'm know gonna, exactly I'm going to dip is. my wing, and we're going that direction. I know exactly where it is. I can see my house. <laughs> so see all the, uh, the lakes out there? Yeah. That's Long Cove. Yep. My neighborhood is the next one. Ashmont? Yes. Yeah, okay. Yeah, exactly. Yeah, this is Wilkins Boulevard right here. That's Mason Montgomery. They run parallel. Holy shit, this is a... <laughs> Wait till Sarah sees this. That should be Cottle Park. Right below you? Yeah, it is. Yeah, because that is Snyder Road. Uh, it's a different perspective up here. Yeah, Lifetime Fitness, holy shit. <laughs> Vertical track. I'm going to start slowing down just so you're aware. Yeah, it's fine. Yeah, I can see my house right now, Brian. If I zoom. And okay. <laughs> That's amazing. God, we're going fast. Four County traffic. November 7366 Romeo taking runway one, departing to the northeast. So there's the schools right up there. If you keep following the high yeah. school and intermediate, the big WLW tower. So we're yeah. coming up. Shit is huge right in front of us. I got to stay away from that right there. Oh, that's okay. I can actually see the runway out in the distance. So if it gives perspective Tylersville, the runway is right over there. Yes, it is. So we're going to get down pretty quick. But if you, uh, I'm going to go right yeah. for just a second. You do your thing. So we're coming up MECC, Mason Early Childhood is right there, that yep. big building. Yep. There's the uh, Grizzly Golf Course. Well, this, or, VO, or VOA, it's Four Bridges. Oh, the, oh is that Four Bridges? Or four Bridges and uh, Heritage. Actually, that's our, we belong to Four Bridges. So that's Four Bridges. And okay. then my house, so there's a water tower that's like right here. Yep. I'm about ready to dip my wing, and you're going to see this open field to your right at your 1 o'clock. Yep, I see it. Just to the left of that's a one-road cul-de-sac. Oh, there it is. Yeah, I see. yeah, your house is right up there right with there. the pool. With the pool. I totally see it. 555 Fox Truck, remember, in six miles northeast. We'll do a midfield crosswind. So as I fly up here, this gives me a whole another perspective of how much land is still available in yeah. Mason. Right, you keep going north is where it's at. But do you think that's where the development is going? Yes. You can follow the development north of it. You can look at the land out here, and you'll see at some point that that's where it will go. So the only thing is, is once you hit, I believe it's Hamilton Road, Yeah. you can't go, you're then out of Mason. 
And just so you know, this is where I'm going to need to get quiet for a minute. Okay. I need oh. to get my altitude yep. down and land. So the runway, I don't know if you can see it. It's kind of like, it's angled. See those big white tanks out there in the distance? Yes. It's right in front of that directly, if I line between me and you. Got it. So I'm going to come around, and I'm actually going to take a right. And we're going to circle back the other direction. We're going to do like an S backwards. We're going to go this way, and then come back in and land that way. Got it. Okay. What is this here? Do you know what those triangles are? Uh, prison. Is that the prison? Okay. Yeah. Warren County traffic, Sierra 717 Alpha Papa entering left downwind runway 1, Warren County. Warren County traffic, Skyhawk 555, Foxtrot November, turning final runway 1. Got him in sight. We are beam the touchdown point, bring our throttle back, and put in one notch of flaps. Start our descent. Nose is going to go down. Altitude. And we're aiming for four to 500 feet a minute in descent. Get out to this road, and we're going to turn left. Warren County traffic, 0717 Alpha Papa, turning left base, runway 1, Warren County. Bird. Oh, shoot. Last notch flaps, you're going to feel the nose tip over. Five hundred. Warren County traffic, zero seven one seven Alpha Papa, final runway one, Warren County. County traffic, Skyhawk 555, Foxtrot November, clear the runway, Warren County. 